This is your camera. Is it my camera? I don't know. I think okay. it's my camera. Yeah. Do you think it's my camera? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so who's oh. going to say it? Me. You have to say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming outside today. Yeah. There we go. All right. Go play. Wait. You're probably going to hear him in the background of this video. We're hanging out down here. It is what it is. But at any rate, hello everyone. Thanks for coming outside me today. Today I want to talk about probably the most underused thing, or at least thing I don't hear talk about much, and that is daisy chaining when it comes to saddle hunting, or really any rope that you will take into the woods. And heck, you can daisy chain extension cords, a ratchet strap, uh, extra taggins, whatever you got, in order to keep everything nice, neat, and tidy. So I just want to run through how to daisy chain, and what applications that I use it for when I'm going in and out of the woods, when I'm saddle hunting, or even using my pool rope. So a lot of folks like to use dump pouches on the sides of their saddle, and I am wearing the Tethered Phantom, and I'll show you my lineman's belt here in a second, and they'll put their tether in there, their lineman's belt, their back band, all sorts of different stuff in those dump pouches, but it adds a lot of extra bulk to the outside of your waist, and I quite frankly don't like that. I'd rather wear the weight across my shoulders on my pack, so let me talk about where I'm putting all these ropes here, and the first one is my tether. So I use the Outlaw 2 Sling Pack from 3V Gear, and here is my tether. I have a rope in one on one end and a Prusik knot as an extra safety on the bottom. If you've never seen any of my other saddle hunting videos where I use this method, go ahead and I'll put the uh, links in the description below or through a card up here or something, or just go to my saddle hunting playlist and watch all those videos. But the nice thing about the Outlaw Pack is that it's got all these molly loops everywhere. And on the side here, I can clip one in on one side, one in on the other, and I carry my tether in and out of the woods right here. And it's daisy chain, so it's nice and neat and compact. And I have over, Let's actually take this off here and get a rough estimate. But the nice thing about it is that I can have this really long rope and it just pulls apart, right? There's no knots, there's no matched over things, not shoved down into a dump pouch. I have a, almost a six and a half foot, almost seven foot wingspan here. Uh, and so this is probably contiguously almost an eight foot long from the end of the loop to the end of the knot, which is probably about 10 total feet of cord. Never officially measured it, but that is more than enough to handle every single tree that you will possibly ever need to get into. Uh, in order to daisy chain, I run my ropeman, which this is actually connecting to the bridge of my saddle and this is an extra safety precaution that uh, is it necessary probably not uh, my brain just uh, works better that way and it actually works out really nice because then I can move one to either end my Prusik which is the uh, again the safety uh, backup if you will against the stopper knot and my ropeman which uh, activates my bridge my tether goes up against the girth hitch here and in order to daisy chain you don't need this loop here on the other end but it makes it a lot simpler you can put your hand through and you're going to grab the main line Line, right you're gonna put your hand through and grab the main line and pull out on the back side so now you have this you know eight shape and you're gonna keep doing that so now here's my new loop put my hand through grab and make the shape of an eight put my hand through grab make the shape of an eight and I can make this bigger or smaller depending on how big my hands are right pull through grab pull through grab pull through grab when I get down here to the end I have to have some sort of attachment method, and on this last piece that I just pulled through, I'm going to clip it to itself, and so now it can't come undone, and now I have a daisy chain, and when I want it to undo itself, I have to go to the end that I finished on here, I'll unclip itself, and then there's that end of that eight, and all it is is just going to pull itself off, pull through, there's that, that figure eight shape right there pull through and you could do this with any cord and I'll show you here in a second actually how I would use it with a pull-up cord. All right, let me show you my Lyman's which I carry across my waist here. And this is where I think actually probably it benefits the most is around in the lineman situation. So here I have it daisy chained around my waist. I don't have it shoved off in a dump pouch. I don't have anything uh, wacky hanging off the side here. And again, this is just the same exact premise. This is also about a eight foot lineman's belt, totally contiguous in order to daisy chain. So I've had it, you know, I've worked it around the tree. I'm now up at hunting height. I'm tied in with my bridge here. I'm now ready to store this so it's not flopping around. With the uh, tethered phantom, you have this nice big loop here. There is no actual nice fixed loop on the end. I have a bowline knot here on the end of my loop. But if I go nice and slow, I just reach my hand through the lineman's loop. And I'm going to kind of go here. And then here's my eight, right? Right there's my, my figure eight there. 
and I'm just gonna feed it over top of itself. Put my hand through the loop, grab the interior. When I get to the end, take the carabiner, and now I can clip it to the other lineman's loop on the other side. And now it sits, and of course, I would obviously be tethered in with my bridge. Let's pull the bridge out here so you get a better representation. My bridge would, of course, be out here. My lineman's belt is totally out of the way. It's not flopping around. It's not hanging off a dump pouch. I don't have to worry what order I put things in. You know, there's some people who are like, oh, I got to put my tether in first and then my lineman's because I got to pull my lineman's up first and then my tether when I get to height. Everything's separate here. The tether is on my pack, which I, of course, would have, you know, wearing all the way up and down the tree. I only make one trip up and down the tree. Oh, and this is a very stiff cord. It's even easier with a softer cord. So this is a Blue Water Static Line from R. AI, and it's a very stiff cord. It daisy chains really nicely, but you could get even tighter loops and a little bit uh, less stiff feel, much more malleable. Uh, if you went with something like the Samson Predator, or if you had some other line from Tethered uh, directly, or whatever Sano manufacturer that you go, saddle manufacturer you go with, they'd be a lot more malleable because they're a lot softer. This is a very stiff sheath core rope, very durable, very nice for tethers and for lineman's belts, uh, but again, very stiff in its regard. You could go back behind you if you wanted to. You could have it in front of you here, the lineman's that is. Again, it's just out of the way. There's no flopping around. Uh, I think daisy chaining is way better than having all the dump pouches. It keeps all the weight and the distribution right here. You could even make it as tight as you want uh, if you had a softer rope and it would act like a second buckle, right? Of course, I'm buckled in underneath here. I would have the saddle, uh, the bridge cinched up as tight as I could go, like an extra weight distributor. Love this method so much more than a dump pouch. So another big way you can use this is using a non-retractable gear hoist. So I do use a retractable gear hoist. Don't ask me what model it is because it is not for sale. It is locally made by one of my family members uh, and it's just given to us here uh, in the central PA region. It's not available for sale, but there are lots of different other retractable gear hoists on the market. I know that Allen makes one. Summon, I think, still makes one. Doyle's, of course, has a retractable one. And these are really nice and compact and nice because you don't have to deal with knots and widen up cord. This little guy right here, as you can see from all the rust, is actually just a U-shaped bent piece of metal coat hanger. And then I just have the standard cord here, nylon cord. And there's about 25, 30 feet here. And I have hunted more hunts with this thing than I care to admit. But let's say that I only needed about 21 feet of cord, which again, a little bit over, about three wingspans for me. So we'll go about one here. Go ahead totally hooked the microphone there that had to sound terrible there's about two there and if you'll notice here I have these off in a figure eight so it comes off easily right it'll just spool right off so I used to like unwind a whole bunch of this and leave it down at the base of the tree and it would get caught in all sorts of stuff wrap around the arrows of my quiver pop them out just a pain in the butt so using a retractable hoist in general is nice or managing this rope better so let's go here with about there let's do a little bit half more all right We'll tie this off here at the end, pretending that we have a uh, an end to our rope here. So here's like the end to our rope here. And again, if you were going to carry this on something, you could have a loop tied in here in the end. So we'll tie a figure eight here. And this would be the end of my rope, right? Just wherever I actually have it. And again, I can daisy chain this, right? So this is about, let's see here. There's about uh, six and a half. Would you stop it? And then about the rest of the distance there, so a little bit over halfway. So we got about 22 feet of cord here, which is plenty. Really, that's all the more I need for any saddle hunting uh, expedition that I'm out on. It's the same deal, right? So we go from 22 feet of cord, and it's just the same thing. I'm going to loop through. There's my eight, and I'm just going to keep looping this over itself. And let's see what end result we get here. You see how easy this is? Like once you get used to doing this type of stuff, this, this becomes super simple. And of course I would have some sort of carabine on the other end, which I do here to hook around my bow or my pack, whatever I was gonna haul up. This is taking me about 30 seconds to do all 22 feet of rope and I'm taking my time, right? I'm being very methodical. Here I am down at the end. I got one more loop here and I can clip this carabiner back on. This is the last pull through. So now I can't unravel itself. And I have right now full wingspan. I have that about six and a half feet of cord, six and a half feet of cord down from 22 and change. And again, it's not gonna knot off of itself. So right now I could easily manage six and a half feet of cord. And even better yet, if I actually had the loop here, so once I actually go to use this, I would then clip this loop, right? The actual uh, eyelet here, because it's gonna be the last thing that would go. I'd clip this to my pack or to my pocket or wherever I was gonna clip it. This end, I would obviously undo like so 
clipped to my bow, and then as I ascended the tree, it would just pull off of itself, right? And there's nothing difficult here. I mean, almost the, the weight alone of the carabiner, as you can see, is popping everything off, right? I mean, this is so delicate and so simple. And then as I get up the tree and up the tree and up the tree, it's just going to keep going off of itself. And again, I would have this clipped into my pack here at the end. And there it is. 22 feet of cord and about six and a half feet in about 30 seconds. Now, this is not ideal whatsoever. I uh, would much rather have some sort of retractable gear hoist here, but this is super easy. There's just something super cathartic about that. <laughs> Pulling out knots that aren't actually knots. It's awesome. So I hope this video was informative for you. I hope that you're able to daisy chain. If you're getting stuck with knots, send me a uh, message on Facebook or Instagram. Send me an email or even leave a comment here on YouTube if you have another suggestion of a different knot type to manage all the ropes you have with saddle hunting or just hunting in general. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, and we'll get to see you next time.